I still have like 6 a.m. face. <laughs> Hi, everyone. <laughs> We're just testing our cameras and microphone. Can everybody hear us? Yeah, just it's not quite 6 o'clock yet. Yeah, we know it's one. Oh, good. Good morning from Calgary, Karen. Hi, Karen. We just want to test just quickly, just to make sure everybody can hear us and see us okay and make sure our connections, everything is good so we don't have any interruptions. I think we're good. Good. Oh, and God. Perth, Australia. Wow, Michelle. Wow. <laughs> it's like probably next week, Tuesday for you guys over there. We just had a comment in New Zealand. It's like 1 a.m. Got Norma from Argentina. Gloria. Hey, Gloria, how are you doing? Thank you so much, guys, for joining us. This is fantastic. Few minute crafts. Oh, great. <laughs> Few minute crafts. Oh, <laughs> oh, Diane Fontaine. Hi. Wow. Christine Dupree. Oh, from France. I know you. We've been commenting. Hello. This is fantastic. Fran. Oh, oh, Kathy. Diane. Ben, ben, oh, all the people that I just see all in the comments. You guys are fantastic. Oh, we have to do more lives. Yeah. <laughs> England. <laughs> <laughs> this is so fantastic. Hi, Paul. Penny. Oh, wow. Carla, Lucy. Oh, my goodness. Amy. Amy, all familiar faces on. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Cecilia. It is 6 a.m. for us. <laughs> Christine. Bonjour. Oh, bonjour. From Sweden. Oh. Yeah. Goodness. Wow. Thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I think what I want to do first, and Ryan's just kind of keeping up with any comments. If for any reason we've missed a comment, we will definitely be replying to you even after the live. So I want to make sure everybody, if you have a question of any kind, I want to make sure everybody has a response. So it's just trying to keep a rhythm here. Um, but Having said that, why we wanted to do a live is A, we've never done a live. <laughs> Number two is we kind of want to just um, give you guys some news, put everything into perspective, because I think I've been giving off little random little things going on, but I thought maybe kind of putting the whole picture together would make a little bit more clarity and make a little bit more sense. We're seeing a lot of familiar faces that are coming on from okay. our comments. I see Shireen. From Argentina. Uh, I see Lisa. I see Valentina from Brazil. Dolores, hello. Allison from Scotland, of course, eating her carrot cake. Heather. Heather's here. Oh, Heather, Heather, Heather from Rafferty Refined Hi. is here. Oh, wow. Good morning. This is so fantastic. Joan, hello. We should be doing Anna. more lives with you oh, guys. No. <laughs> Actually, that's a question we wanted to ask you guys is that was sort of part of the channel was um, thinking about doing live demos. Would that be something you guys would be interested in doing? I guess I can always get mixed reviews. Like some people absolutely love lives and other people they're like, no, there's too much chatting and this and that. And, but Again, we, we want to take the time to ask you guys questions as much as we want your questions. So number one question is, you know, we would be happy to do lives and do demonstrations. Absolutely. Because this way we're not trying to filter it through editings and things like that. And, and this way we can do direct uh, answering of questions rather than waiting for us to, to reply to to comments and questions. Yeah, we thought about with doing the crafts that if we did them live, we know they'd be like an hour long, but we would do them so they'd be like a step by step. Say maybe it'll be mm -hmm. one or two crafts as opposed to doing the five crafts just because yeah. we know the time constraints we have in a video. Mm -hmm. um, we also will be answering questions here for chalk painting or crafts you may have. I just saw someone asking a question about her hutch and what to do. Oh, um, hutches. It's, you know, what's always tricky when it comes to furnishings. It's the first question is how big is the furniture and is it going to be the focal point of the room? So this is where even when I chalk paint things, that's my first question, because if it is going to be the predominance of the room, that focal point, this is where it gets a little bit more anxious because it's like, I, you know, you, you have a big perspective going on. So you, you kind of feel like I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to not like it, even knowing what I'm picturing is beautiful. So I totally get it. I totally get it. 
And I see I got, we have lots of uh, subscribers around the world and some of them in different languages. If we can't answer them here, because like we usually can translate, I will translate them after the show and I'll put the comments in. So if you have any questions or hellos. Do the translations, can we, even when we post this live? We'll post them in the comments. Translation? Okay. Uh, I'll try to do that, but um, okay. I know I can do that. Okay, so. okay. Um, no, this is so fantastic. All I want to do is just like, hello, Regina, Christine, Diane. Oh, my God. This is so – Debbie. Patty. It's so nice to see the people that are always putting comments on there. And we're, it always makes our day when we see the comments after the show. And we're trying to – as you can imagine, we get overwhelmed by so many comments. So I try – we try to – both of us try to answer the questions that you have and things like that. So we're just happy that you guys are all here. Mm -hmm. You know what? We were just talking about this. And I'm like, you know what? Everybody sees your hands. Oh, yeah. So these are the model the, hands. These are the model hands. But we don't do any kind of like formal intro with the fact that Ryan is my husband and his name is Ryan. That I think that was kind of something I just kind of overstepped a little bit. So I kind of wanted to apologize for that and kind of, you know, include him as part of this team of this channel. So rather than the model and <laughs> things that you're helping me with. There's two things I just saw that communicating with me, Patty for a part in Michigan and trying to communicate. It's actually kind of neat that everyone's kind of communicating with each other. And that's what we were mm -hmm. trying to develop in the chats, in the comments, the that community. if you guys are community kind of communicate yeah. with each other. Oh, we see Dahlia Aguilera. <laughs> Hi, Dahlia. Hello. But this is exactly what we were trying to create. It was trying to create a yeah. space for everyone to kind of collaborate and ask questions. We noticed that when we were doing some of the chalk painting furniture, that was actually being ha yeah. happening. Like some people were helping each other. That was fantastic. So if you know some tips and tricks, like we're all learning. Yeah. And Christina's always coming up with new new techniques, and it's good to see other people sharing. Well, let's say I'm experimenting with new techniques. <laughs> Actually, having having mentioned that, um, one question, it's it, we don't have a specific order of these questions. Yes. But one question is, and again, I'm just trying to do homework, and your feedback is huge. Um, they have, I think, what they call like a membership group with YouTube channels. So what that does is it allows me to have more content, but this way we can structure it as a group because it's a membership group. So that way we can have lives, we can have short demos, we can have some more one-on-ones. So if that's something that you think that, you know, you, you would could definitely consider, again, let us know in the comments below because the more feedback we can get from you, the, the better. We also thought about doing like some question and answer lives like this and then, you know, have, you know, come on at a certain time and have your questions. So if you guys have any top pain questions, yeah. I know we just saw one Carolyn saying a beginner furniture painter. Yeah. I have a PV China Hutch, dark mahogany wood. How do I start this? Help. <laughs> so first thing would be is I would tell you is that Christine would say to me is TSP clean it well, make sure it's all off. And then historically, what do you usually do with hutches or old pieces of furniture? Like, you know, sometimes we always talk about this bleed through and things like that. What are some of the things you look yeah, out yeah, for? Yeah, yeah. Well, I think that what it always boils down to um, going into that subject, just a quick overview. And I think just to make it kind of simplified is the problem is, is we all have furniture and whether you've bought it new or you've reclaimed it from another avenue, like it could have been something you found at a restore or a Goodwill, you don't have a history. So the first thing I always do, if I do not have a history of a piece of furniture, I treat it that I have to do some kind of prep and prime to it because we don't know what cleaners have been used, what varnishes have been used. And it's just, there's so many project, or products on the market. We don't know what that could do to paint, period. I don't care how special or how awesome that paint is. We don't know what it could do when it conjoins together. So it's, like it's almost like that theory oil and water don't mix so yeah. it's yeah you know what i always say and and who wants to do more steps if you don't have to i i totally get that but <clears throat> your i think the thing that gets confusing is a lot of these furniture paint products which are fantastic i'm not talking about a specific brand well what i want to say is 
it's always best to assume the worst. So that's why a really good cleaning or, you know, some kind of um, primer is always really helpful, especially when you don't have a history. If it's your piece, you've bought it, you know exactly where that piece has come from. This generally is not a problem. I just saw one question and it's actually a nemesis for us as well. It's one more time saying we have, I have trouble with getting crackle effect. I've tried several times. Oh, crackle. <laughs> yes. You have due to do and don't. That is actually something I know that you've tried a lot of times. I've had, tr I've had troubles with crackles. with crackles. And again, it, what happens is, and this kind of coincides with what I was just talking about, depending what you're starting with will depend what you end up with when it comes to crackling. Because I've seen videos even on YouTube and I've even seen it in some of the books that I have that depending how you've started and what you're coming out with when it comes to crackling, it's very, very tricky because you're, I've, I've, when I've done it, I've what I call under cracked. So you can see it if you're right up close, you can see the crackle. And then I've over cracked where it's like, okay, that's just a bit too much crackle. Yeah. yeah. There's always that sweet spot. I've noticed that you've tried to do that and it's always. You're challenging. swelling. I think I'm probably even saying this wrong. I apologize. It, like what you're doing is you're, you're trying to create this, this almost perfect uh, spread. So you want the paint to kind of break apart but you don't want it too much and you don't want it too little so it's it's almost like that condensation like that heat condensation yeah it's a perfect match but if it's something that you would be interested as a video absolutely i would love to practice crackle again and i think that's something we'll try again yes. uh cpr warrior thank you so much see you um I'm just looking through the comments. That's what I'm going to do. Is if you guys have any questions or comments, we'll I'll, I'll bring them up and let Christina answer them. Um, did you want to talk about uh, the house and what's going on with that? <laughs> yes. Well, that's kind of the staple of why we wanted Luke to do it live. Here. We have been running around. We have been going here, there, and everywhere. So for anybody who's listed a home for sale or tried to look for a home to buy it's it's the stress levels are just beyond like oh my god it's very emotional too yeah it's very emotional and one minute i'm looking at ryan i'm like can we just keep this house and buy the other <laughs> house please and he's like well i don't i want to retire in my lifetime <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we've had so many like wonderful supportive friends and our realtor and everything just trying to help us make a good, uh, solid decision. But the emotion of trying to let this home go is just uh, like I, I don't even want to talk about it. I'm going to start to cry and look like an idiot. <laughs> anyway. So I think one of the things that we want to do is make sure that you guys are part of everything that we are doing. And because this is a big part, we want to make sure we're all on the same page. So yes, we have actually listed our home and I've actually had a couple of tearful moments where I've actually wanted to take it off. <laughs> so this has been like, Ryan's like, can you please pick a page that you want to be on? Because <laughs> it's really hard to follow this it's, emotional it, rhythm. It is hard. We do love this this house and it's it's oh. you know there's a lot of things that you guys always have seen some of the our hummingbirds and our you know sceneries and and we just you know we love this house yes everything and you know it's obviously you know we've got a lot of comments like why and this and that and it's always it's a hard thing for us because um you know what we're trying to do is grow the channel and it's also and we feel that this next step would actually help us uh from us, from also from myself, I travel a lot and being closer to an airport, this would be helpful. Uh, the place that we're deciding has lots of more uh, facilities to access. Infrastructure. Yeah. Like where we live right now, it's a beautiful place, yes. but there's very limited on things. So for example, if we needed a craft, uh, say we were short on glue or something. Yeah. It's quite a trek for us to get those <laughs> things, you know. So when it's we're like, doing- Hey Ryan, do you mind going and getting me some more yes. uh, this or that? And long story short, it can take like an hour and a half just to go and get an item sometimes. And then, we, we but that's just the travel for the up. ferry, but then <laughs> waiting times and things like that. So there is a, yeah. a, a, a time difference that it's hard for people to, uh, for us to explain unless you kind of live here. People who live here understand. Yeah. We, oh, so. too. I, um, 
I had some comments earlier too. I just wanted to quickly mention, I want to thank you guys so much for joining us today. And I do understand that not, not everybody can stay based on your day's plans or things you have. Yes, We will be posting this. So if you have a chance later on in the weekend that you want to just you know, have a quick view of the live, it will be posted as well. And thank you for, you know, even trying to join us for a few moments on this live. It really means a lot. Thank you. Yeah. So having said the, okay, so we have had a really good response of this home. So that's been really overwhelming. We've had an offer and we're still waiting to hear back based on, you know, their, their end. Cause people have these quote subjects when they put offers in it's, it's, it, there's a lot, there's a lot of little things going on. So what we thought we would do, is <laughs> we're okay. actually going to go to Victoria uh, this weekend to today, actually. So we're planning after our live to get our stuff together and we're going to go to Victoria and we want to film a little of this and add it to our next few DIY videos so we can slowly introduce to you guys why we want to go here. And I think demographically, we what the fun part is, is um, when you are associated to where we live, this is actually an island. So our whole coastal vibe doesn't really change. It doesn't change, but um, we'll have a lot more access to things. Yes. And we won't show what we're, we're hoping to. We're still in the processes. Obviously, we're still trying to, mm -hmm. in our place, and, and looking at the new home, looking at logistics and things like yeah. that, and getting you know insurances and all that kind of stuff. But once you guys get a feel of what our new place is, you'll actually kind of get a feel of who we are and what we kind of do. We love a lot of, as you guys see that Christina loves to restore a lot of furniture pieces and antiques and things like that. I love collecting antiques, love old things. We have a lot of, quite a few things in the living room here that we never showed you guys. We still have stuff in the garage yeah, that we want to bring like, through. <laughs> so it will actually fit together with the new home if everything goes this way. If it doesn't, we still have our place right here. Well, here's the number one question. Why do you guys like to DIY? And it's like, I've been DIY my whole life. <laughs> like ever since I was a kid, it's like, oh, you know, you want to, it's, it's about creating something that's you. It's about creating something that's original. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's been my high since I could remember. I remember mm -hmm. my very first apartment. Yeah. I didn't run to a brand new store to buy things. I'm like, no, I want to go and, and I I want to shop and I want to find like certain, you know, eclectic little items and I want to make it very original. So the whole staple of DIY is the foundation of what I love to do. It's my escape of things that I like to do and having the opportunity with our social media outlets of being able to share these things is fantastic. The other thing too, is that also I just saw a comment asking the, the why the location, things like that. It's also another thing too, for when Christina's painting furniture, like yeah. it's a difficult when we have customers that want to, we have to actually do travel great lengths to go and sell the pieces of furniture. So where are we thinking to live in Victoria or Vancouver Island? It's actually a nice, easier way for Christina to sell her pieces too as well. Because we get a lot of requests for uh, some of the things that she's painted in the past to to purchase. So that's another thing. And that's kind of what we're trying to do is to kind of transition to build this channel up that way. Absolutely. We want to be able to filter a lot more content. Yeah. Um, more continuous content. And I don't want it to sound confusing, but as I try to plan my videos right now, I have to base it on when things can arrive. And it starts to get a little mind boggling sometimes. It's like, okay, I had this plan, this plan, and this plan, but I'm missing this item and this item. So I have to wait for shipping to arrive. And it's like, okay, well, it's seven days late. <laughs> So now I have to reformulate, okay, well, I can go and do this this week, and then I'll have to do that next week. It's going to take a lot of anxiety out for me as I keep trying to plan my videos, plan those projects, and because the continuity of being able to you know, show you guys something. I don't want to say something's happening, and then I still have to wait two weeks. That's going to be long forgotten. So the the filtering of being able to share some excitement some really new cool ideas but being able to follow up right away so it's just so much easier when you can not have to worry about when it's arriving i can go and get it but what we'll do is we're more we're, like what christina says we're going to head out to victoria today we will put some snippets from next week's video of their crafts yeah. and things like that and we'll show you some size you guys get an essence of it but i see there's a lot of good questions coming in here that people yes. want to know and i think we should 
uh, answer some of them for sure, for sure. um two two of the things oh first one hi cheryl clark <laughs> good, morning. good morning um there's two good questions here that i want christina to answer one is from jackie barker she said have you ever used chalk paint on added uh fabric soft for upholstery I normally use chalk paint and finish with furniture wax so yeah. actually i before chris answers the question um on our channel, there's a lot of videos that maybe some of the new subscribers haven't seen, and we have them organized in chalk paint furniture. You yeah. have them in catalogs and in chapters. So sometimes, if you're looking for something, if you go into the channel and you go under lists, you'll see them separated out. So, for example, I have some for like uh, furniture, fabric painting, um, how to wax. Oh, we've done uh, chairs. Wrap. Uh, we've done so we, the ragging technique that you've done. There's several videos under that. So that's kind of a uh, way you can guys look for. If you're looking for a technique, take a look there and you might see the video. I know sometimes it feels confusing. Yeah, though, it is hard. You have to kind of go into it's, the person's channel, then you have to go to videos and, and lists. But, but for the questions, though, that's actually a good one because yes. fabric is a huge thing, whether it's upholstery fabric, whether it's like you know, throw pillows. Um, one thing that had happened over a year ago is I had a cotton duvet cover with the matching pillow shams. And I made, it was beautiful. I actually chalk paint dyed it and then I stenciled it and I showed you how to do everything and then be able to wash it after to show you that it's, it, it, it's such a cool technique. Um, and you know what? I think we need to be doing that pretty yeah, soon. I think so. I know Jackie's mentioned, so yes, you have, yes, she has used uh, chalk paint on fabric. Yeah. So we yeah. have a couple of videos on that. Uh, you've also done that leather chair. Oh, yeah. and, and that was chalk paint, our first one of our first projects. Yes. Uh, but yes, chalk paint does go on on the fabric, soft fabric. Yeah. I want to do a chalk paint. So um, you have, let, for a quick example, you have a, a, a beautiful chair, but the fabric color or style is just like, yeah, it's not really going to go. But instead of uh, reupholstering that, how about making it look like a leather chair? That's, that's actually... Um, uh, a question I've gotten quite there a few was times. a good question and someone was asking how to paint malamine so that's a challenge so MDF yeah. board Ooh. so you've done one like that mm -hmm. the the ombre there was a, a nice green remember the white one that was the three the, the different seven ombre oh, right from uh Passion from the, Home. yeah from the stockist uh yes it is actually tricky because it's the surface, right? When you're working with woods, there seems to be more to, to grab with your paint. Whereas when you're working with that, it's so slick. So um, I do know that sometimes actually putting a bit of sandpaper before you yeah, start yeah. just to get that grip factor. Um, I think the one thing when you did that project, um, Yes, you can scuff the, the Malamine or yeah. MDF, but when you were doing that one, I remember you were putting on layers and you said to me that it it, it, it will look ugly and it'll get oh, better. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. so it won't. That's a perfect example of it's going to look really ugly, ugly before, before it gets pretty. It's beautiful. And with the MDF that I've seen you, it looks like it's very, when you put on the first coat, it looks very wishy. Like it just doesn't look like streaks and all that stuff. But that's okay because what you're doing is when you build the layers, yeah. it'll stick onto each other. Yeah. So that's probably what you're facing right now is a challenge. You're thinking it's painting, but it's not working. Just keep going at it. But the other key thing too is that drying in between that. So that's a pretty critical one too. When you're working with layers and paint is, um, I've battled this and trust me, I've, if there's a mistake out there, I've done it. Um, you think, especially when you're dealing with textures because you're getting a little bit, you're kind of getting layer happy. So your paint will have thick components to it and thin components to it. The thick ones can feel dry on the outside surface, but because it's it's thick, it's still taking a little while for that under layer that's actually touching the furniture to be fully cured to it. So what I've done in the past as a mistake is it feels dry, looks dry, so I'm gonna carry on. I've got water, I'm gonna continue on doing, playing with my paint and everything's just going everywhere. And now I'm back to the furniture surface again. So it smears and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> There's another question here is how does humidity affect paint other than dry time? So we know that it, you know, you've met, you've challenged, you've battled this sometimes with humidity on drying your projects. So yeah. you know, that, that will definitely affect the drying time. Yeah, yeah. Um, so cause humidity has still got a moisture. Yeah. On. 
on the dry surface component of it, right? So it feels dry, but when you've got a humid air environment too, right? Is this going to push your paint around? The one thing and the safest thing I have always done is try to exercise my patience because I can be very impatient. I think. Yes. Lana has a good comment <laughs> saying using slick stick uh, to, from Dixie I've Belt. That. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you haven't used it. We've yeah. used um, primers. I know you use primers and some other products, something very similar or uh, top coats and things like that to kind of kind of seal off the so bleeder. this is where shellac is actually really helpful for all yeah. of what we're talking about when you want to remove that area that's just it's not grabbing well you know i have cleaned pieces that i have cleaned and cleaned and cleaned and cleaned it and it's still doing what i didn't want it to do so that's where because shellac comes in a spray but it also comes on um like in a in a tin can like a paint can like one of those small half yes yeah, yeah. And I find if I put that on, I don't have any issues. I never have any issues. I've yet to. I'm not saying you can't, but for the most part, I've never had any issues. So John's facing the same issue too in northern Wisconsin, Lake Superior. Yeah, it's going to be humid over there. It always makes it a factor. Yeah. Someone just mentioned fusion. Oh, fusion paint. Okay. Yeah. Ultra grip. Yes. That's yes. Really I actually have that. And we did that. Uh, I did a lamp or two, two lamps. Yeah. And that's what I did because it's, it's a shiny slick surface. I put that ultra grip by fusion. Fusion's a great product. I love yes. Fusion. Someone said, uh, at Lois, I, I've chalk painted director chair canvas with fabric and then wax. And I saw a different tech oh. and then saw, a different technique from Lone Fox. Yes, we love Lone Fox too. And he chalk paint. I we did see that episode, the one that he did the fabric softener. I didn't see that. I saw that one. It was actually quite cool. So he did use fabric softener. I haven't oh, cool. um we haven't tried it obviously, but I just saw that. I'll have to, we have to look at that one and, yeah. and give it a go. Um let's see what other questions here. CPR warriors waiting for hours. <laughs> yes, you're right. Waiting in between. Lindy uh, from Greece. Hello. You Bye. usually wait in between the coats when you drive, but another thing that you've done, I see you use, is using the hot, uh, the hot heat gun or a hair dryer. In, you know, for paint. I'm so careful that you yeah. don't want to get crackled. Or crackled. <laughs> <laughs> so. I do love the heat gun, but um, the problem is, is I fight with timing because I want to make a video and I want to have a consistency when the video comes. So um, I'll sometimes veer towards the hair dryers or, or the hot gun, but do be careful. My biggest advice with anything dealing with heat that you're, you're going to add to your chalk paints is just make sure you're keeping your distance. And again, it's the patience. And I, I feel like I'm tangent talking because going back to patience, I sometimes, because you keep hearing, put it on, it dries so fast, continue on that sometimes if I just wait overnight for that first or second layer to dry completely, I have no problems. Yeah. But when I push it, and then I, you know, things are going okay. And then I get to say a third drawer or a certain component of the cabinet I'm working on. This whole part is just going to poop because the paint didn't get a chance to cure. So, I mean, I wish we had more time than we do some when it comes to allowing each layer to dry. And again, this is where, you know, what time of the year are you working on? Are you working in the garage? Is it getting too cold and it's not drying fast enough? So Constance, uh, has a question can you anything you can do with an ugly Quran countertop you know that's a, that's good, a good question question. we haven't done anything with Quran countertops per se um we recently did our kitchen countertop but it's got that mdf malamine yeah. and we tried a product uh the one from benjamin moore called advantage that is a really yeah. good product guys i really want to experiment with but, that again like it's it's good. So Constance, uh, we're not sure for that one. Uh, what I would say is maybe go to the Benjamin Moore shop if you have one nearby you and ask him about this. It, it's called Advance or Advantage? Advance. Advance. And it's their new product. So we, we just tried it for the countertop like Chris was mentioning. It worked, but with the crayon, I'm not sure because I know it's really smooth. So that that might be something that you may have to scuff and kind of roughen it up for the paint to stick. Yeah. It's a challenge with those type of products because if it's a high traffic area and, you know, like you, if it's a kitchen countertop, you kind of want a product that sort of has an epoxy base finish so that it would be easy to clean and wipe off and that kind of stuff. The other one that I swear by and I swear by is the Rasoleum countertop. Yes. What an amazing product. We've even done tiles with that product. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have a perfectly good tile, 
And there's nothing wrong with it. It's just the color or the design on the tile. And you're like, well, I don't really want to rip this all off and then have to retile because that is a huge project. But if you're happy with the way the tiles, you know, overall look is, but you just want to, you know, do a different decorative look to it. The Rust-Oleum countertop has an epoxy base to it. And it's, I've never had any issues with that product. It is fantastic, especially when you want to clean. It's a high utility area. You are good to go. We've used it for what, quite a few years. Yeah. Um, oh, two things. One is, hang on, let's see. Oh, V, v, uh, v Chick Chalky Furniture. Is there a chance you could do a shout out? Yes. Hello. Hello. No, sorry for that. No, I mean, honestly, this is a part where we're growing. When we started out young, one of the big, one of the biggest inspirations for, for Christina and myself was Kasha Furniture. Kasha had always given us. Kasha. Kasha. That's it. Has given us shout outs. I'm always trying not to mutilate people's so, names with my bad So accent. with you, with <laughs> V Chicky, uh, Chalky Furniture, please yeah. everyone check that channel out as well. Yes. And Rafferty Refined. Yes. yes. Heather's channel. Heather. Heather. Um, she's such a sweet. Um, I had actually reached out to her and asked if she wanted to do a fun collaboration video with us. So we would definitely want to put that into the making rel relatively soon because it's really fun to challenge other people who are doing similar content with you. So anyway, we'll, we'll definitely be explaining more about that. But these links for the channels that we mentioned, we'll have those in our description box below. And I know that there's a couple of fans. I think I see sure, Teresa I David from Germany. And I know it's in German, I'll have to translate, but that's one thing we always try to do is any questions you guys have, I always try to ask Christina and then we'll translate them. Absolutely. So that's what we're continuously always be doing. So don't worry, I'm always gonna be doing that. Yeah. And then all the videos that we do, I try to translate as well. So yeah. yeah. Um, a couple of quick questions I had for subscribers too. Um, Sorry, what were we going to say? Actually, I was just going to get, I think Diane Fontaine had asked another question. And I just, uh, I just missed it. It's hard because yeah, it, keeps, it keeps scrolling. But that's oh, okay. here it is. Oh. We promise we're going to answer any of your questions if we haven't been able to here. Oh, okay. Diane, you wanted to know, I wanted to know if on top of the finished project, can I use a gel stain and wipe it off? Sorry, say that again. So you want to know if, uh, I wanted to know, uh, thanks for answering that. Mel and I, I wanted to know if on a top yeah. of a finished project, can I use a gel stain and wipe some off? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I love gel stain. It's, I find it's, you could be a little bit thick with it. Uh, you may have to give it some more time to dry or you can, you can um, kind of play with its viscosity a little bit. So if you want it to be a little thinner to show some, like a little bit more transparency, or if you really want it to be very thick and, and, but you can absolutely do that. Absolutely. Um, I was going to ask, I like to, re oh, from Shirley. So Shirley, hi Shirley. Uh, I like to refinish a shiny white metal day bed. It's on the guest room. So it's restful, like a funky vibe, textured paint, salt wash. That is perfect. Um, I actually have been eyeing these beds because um, going back to some of our big news, I did find a home and I didn't tell Ryan about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, long story short, I finally got over a chance to go and see it. I fell in love with it and we have put an offer into this home and I am so excited. So going back to that question, I have been imagining, I see those beautiful brass beds and I always think like some of them, they've deteriorated over time and I'm thinking like, you gotta be able to paint these things. Um, like if it's in mint condition, totally different story, but I, I know exactly where this question I is think going. It's, yeah, it's a good question. But if you use the salt wash or you can use the chalk, ba uh, chalk paint based paints and mix the salt to it, this is going to create more of what we call like it's a it textured also, finish. Yeah, but it's going to create more of a stick adherence yeah. to, to that kind of surface, the metal surfaces. So I highly, highly recommend. And if it gets too thick or it feels like it's got too much texture because you're playing, you're playing with the paint, you can always take a very fine grit and just slightly sand it just so it's not too gritty, if that makes sense. 
So there's lots of playroom with that, but yes, you'll get a better adhesion and it's, it'll, it'll, it's, it can be a lot of fun because you can really play with your, your uh, color tones. Like if you want highlights and lowlights and those kind of things with it. Yes. So uh, true new, uh, like it's clumpy. Yes. It will be a little clumpy with the chalk with the salt wash. Um, Kimberly? Oh. Kimberly Stever. Oh, hi, Kim. And hot Florida from Elvira. Yes, it's probably warm right now for yeah. you guys. Uh, what, what, one question we wanted to know from you guys, what are the kind of projects are you guys very much interested in? So you know that we do, obviously, the chalk painting mm -hmm. furniture. We're also doing the home decor DIY crafts. And what we're trying to do is accessorize the furniture pieces with the home decor. And that's why you see well, that we, we do it for together. balance. Yeah. But I always get kind of confused. Should I stick the videos as just a room makeover, just a furniture transformation? Should I put them a little bit more together? And then you came out with a great idea that say you just do a simple room makeover. You've painted it, you've done whatever. Yeah. Not a lot of focus, but just some general ideas of what you can do to a room, but then kind of veer the video a little bit more about DIY room decors with that you know, room makeover. Like, I guess we could like, we would like to know a little bit more about how the sequencing of the videos would be more beneficial for you guys as subscribers, because we have so many ideas. Yeah. Like one of them, I, someone had just mentioned a question about, um, Cindy, she said, we just refinished a shiny, uh, shiny brass color bed, not true brass. We scuffed and sanded primer right. and then flat black paste. Awesome. Nice. Turned out beautiful. We did the exact same thing for yeah. one of when we did one of the um, room makeovers. It was our master bath, mm -hmm. and we had this chrome light set, and we did exactly what you did: is we scuffed it and then spray painted it black, and it, it, with the flat black, it looked beautiful, fantastic. Yeah, no, that was that's cool. That's really cool, Cindy. Well, I was looking at top sets because we wanted to change the faucet. That was an experiment. Yeah, and when I was looking at the faucet sets, they were so expensive. I was like, oh my god. God. We did try it, so we're hope like we knew that this was not a high traffic uh, bathtub. bathtub. It was it's just a soaker a, it was tub. a soaker tub, so we did spray paint it and made it chrome. It was chrome. It looked like something from the nineteen seventies, and <laughs> so we spray painted it black. And so far, it's holding true. But you know what's painful though is yeah, it, there's such even good quality. I, well, the thing is, is, is even knowing it's it's you know outdated Dated. it's still when cool. it's there's nothing wrong with something that's where it's so much fun to come up with diy solutions to put it more of an aesthetics today like why are we going to change it all out and spend for a new one and then you have to go and dispose of something that was perfectly fine and that's kind of the things that we do we actually kind of take yeah. things that we have that's why it's called the reclaimed air we take old pieces or old things and try to redo yeah. them you know, and so that's kind of when we did these room makeovers, you can see some of the elements that we were adding in. Yeah. You know? So the other really good news is, is that we would like to do another video a week. That's the other. We just want to figure out what, yes. what would be of interest to you guys. We're trying to do that as well. Yeah. So what I was thinking about, so this is a great opportunity to speak with some of you. So again, please leave us comments in the comment box below is I would like to kind of do a DIY Wednesday, but instead of making a big video, I thought maybe, and again, your feedback is really important, is just to kind of have a one DIY Wednesday where it's just one specific project because we don't all have time to sit on YouTube for hours on end. So we like to kind of dribble a little bit. So I have an appreciation when I see videos that are maybe like 10, 12 minutes long, where I can just kind of dabble in, you know, exercise my creativity in my head. And it gives me something else to focus on in my busy day to day. So I thought maybe by doing it that way, or, you know, if there's other, or do you want me to even separate out these ideas instead of putting everything together in one video? So do I just do furniture and then post those on a Wednesday and then do my, you know, say three to six DIYs on a Saturday? So again, I just, I want to have a perspective of what works for the subscribers in in and how we're putting together the videos we're getting a lot of comments that's awesome i just i will make a couple of things furniture duchess said the epoxy paint on the tub was the best as those are so, that was so yes cool. that was a fun project doing that one there um highly recommend if you have 
an old bathtub. But there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing bathtub. wrong with it. Yeah. And, that, and you saw that. I just didn't that. want it to be almond. Yeah. That, that <laughs> I was wanted the only, white. It was a perfectly good bathtub. Yeah. And that's why we wanted to try that one. We just, we just thought if it was just white, it would be easy to yeah. colorize, like add accents and things like yeah. that. So that project. We are so delighted with the results yeah. of that. And that was a, a product. Was it was called Clink's Epoxy yeah. Finish. It's in, a, it's in a yellow box. And I did have it listed in the Amazon store. We'll put it with the description box of this but, too. Yeah. But definitely check out that but, video because that that was an amazing transformation. And that comes to another question, another thing thinking is that sometimes when we have uh, the projects and we'll list the items, I try to list them and have it linked to our, our Amazon store. So I'll post them there so you guys can see them. Um, you can either click it on there or if you go to Home Depot and you can find them or your home improvement stores. But I try to put them there so that you guys can at least have a reference. Sometimes I can't find them all the time, but it's there. Well, they uh, could in Victoria. Yeah, now we can go to Victoria and find all the products. Um, let's see, there was one other one. Uh, Denise Art said her, da her daughter More. never has knitted or crocheted before, and we brought some chunky blanket yarn and subscribed to your channel. Maria, she's she's um, she's just putting out a mention of more makeover accessories. Perfect, and we so actually that's talked the feedback. about yeah. yeah. So again, it's it's not that you guys dislike room makeovers. It's just putting more focal to the accessories to the room makeover. And it was funny because we were talking about that for the master bathroom makeover that we wanted to do. Oh, it came out with such cool ideas. Yeah, but you know what he wanted to do? We have these old window and we're going to do it. We'll make and we it. thought, let's make medicine cabinets out of these. And I'm thinking, okay, what are you going to do? You're going to structure a whole box and then yeah. buy the brackets. And so we should, we should do so that. So we'll do that one as a craft. So yeah. I think that one was going to be cool to show you guys how to do that one. We might have to leave it for the new homeowners. Yeah, probably. <laughs> or we take the window with us. Yeah, I don't know. Um, there was another question. How about, uh, what is it? Oh, oh, okay. That was a good question. Uh, uh, one more time to ask, uh, can I ask you what your thoughts on up and coming trends, please, color trends. So that is one thing that I've always asked you to think about doing a sh uh, talk on is color choices. What What are the things that you- Colors is hard. Yeah, and then it color is. trends now. So right now- Sorry, let me rephrase that. Colors, it's okay. I can say this as a homeowner. Like, you know, when you're looking at the vast, a huge room, you know, do you really want to go bright or do you want your accessories to be the color of that room? So I think maybe kind of zeroing in a little bit about that as well as what colors go well together or what's fun and poppy, what's a nice neutral with a nice pop color, like maybe having a whole bunch of little things into one video. So giving other, just giving more perspectives about you know, some fun ideas when it comes to, we could do, we could do neutrals a, with colors and, you know, like, yeah, we I, could, yeah, we could do it. We can do a, a one on, on the color trends and I how you pick colors. Really Cause cool I know comment. that something is always a common. I just saw a really cool comment. And someone, I think it was Diane mentioned about copper. Yes. I love using copper and we like making projects out of that. We can do more of those. I need glasses. Oh, permanently. I can't see. <laughs> I admit that, and I have to come to that realization. And yes, nobody gives you the memo that you know in your forties your vision's going to go. <laughs> Alvia made a, good, a nice comp. Thank you, Alvia. She said, "What sets you guys apart from other YouTubers is that you do more earthy stuff, more natural and affordable." We love the earthy. But that's something we like to doing is the yeah. more of these natural looks and earth tones. That's why you can see some of the projects, and and you'll see that you know when in our living room we did a like kind of a Scandinavian I love feel. It. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah. And yeah. then, so yeah, we, we tend, you tend to go, and I love those, is the natural look. Yeah. yeah. Um, that is something cool. The copper accents, Diane French, for sure. We did in our kitchen, I did a cop, we did, I love another thing too, is I like doing uh, industrial pipe art. So that's what the copper gas light pen. The black pipe, as people call it. You know, copper. I apologize. When I did my home tour, I wish I kind of zeroed in a little bit better of that because there's a lot of things we've done in this house long before I started the channel. And there were some amazing ideas. And I'm like, maybe we should rehash We were doing ideas. a lot of these DIYs before. So, Diane, yes, we do have actually the copper. We have copper pans, pots and pans. And I made a uh, kind of a pipe iron. Kind of, you know, those old-fashioned restaurant style racks where you can hook them on the ceiling. So that's something you guys could do. It's very easy and expensive. You can buy the part pieces from home improvement stores. You know what else I get a lot of I, uh, comments or questions, and this is another one for subscribers too, is 
um, a lot of people are actually scared of all white projects or all black projects because when you're dealing with matte finishes, how do you get it so it's it's all one tone because sometimes you can see these shade differences. Like what can we do it to make it a, like a really white, white project. And I think another thing people battle is a yellow hue sometimes because we want to, we want to put a sealer on them and then all of a sudden it's got this little bit of a, a yellow tinge to it. So how to avoid things like that if we want to. Right. Janice had said a question and it kind of goes back to Furniture Dutch's question. She's like, Christina, what about a uh, bathtub that's in horrible paint condition? Would be good to product to use on tile as well. So the the Clinks epoxy yes. is fantastic for the bathtub. What I recommend is follow the actual instructions. There is a product that they use that's called to clean it first and etch the thing. Make sure the bathtub is completely clean and you're using it. And use really good rollers, like this foam rollers and things like that. You know what? That's actually another good one. We should yeah. zero in a little bit more about that because they recommend the, um, what is that? The, uh, what's the name? The TSP cleaner? Or no, 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 no. The rollers. Oh, yeah. the Because remember when yeah. I use the, quote, roller I'm supposed to, I'm putting it on and then all of a sudden these little pieces started detaching and then sticking in the paint and I can't get it out now. But I found if I use the uh, sponge rollers, mm -hmm. the those white are good. sponge rollers, yeah, almost every hardware store has them. Those are the least hassled rollers I've used. So there's a quick question from Green Eyed Lady. She said, I noticed people are doing more furniture stripping, sanding down to the bare wood and bleaching and whitewashing. Do you guys ever, you guys think it's a trend? It seems like it is a trend. We've been doing that right there. That one used to be black. I painted that <laughs> and, and I loved wash. what I did. And then when I redid this room, it is actually becoming a little bit. And I think, I think what hits it is because we're spending so much time in our houses right now and everybody's just wanting something very calm, very relaxing. A lot of us live in very busy environments on like ourselves right now, but it's, you know, like people like kind of bringing the outdoors in a little bit. And that's so kind of the real woods and the real neutral tones and the soft things. A lot of people are going with and the, I, the, like the dried flowers. Yeah. And, and I think that's probably why you guys see that we like that natural look. So the washing, yeah. you, know, you like, you love using ragging washing techniques on the furniture pieces to make them look more natural. Catch it, catch Akacha just did one she on just the did a Yeah, video. that was amazing. Was yeah. it this week or last week? I think it was two weekends anyway, ago, but we need to try that. I'm going to leave yeah. her link in my description box below as well. She just did one. I think what it is is we, we're seeing these kind of orangey yellow woods, even knowing you like the body and the architecture of the piece of furniture, but how do I get it to that more, more natural, raw, natural, natural look. wood? We should do some videos like that. Like I find even Ikea, when you buy the raw woods, you almost want it to be almost more, a little bit whiter looking than it is. And that's where someone's asked about the Ikea hacks. We love doing the Ikea oh, hacks. Yes. And the furniture pieces that you guys are talking about, Chris was talking about, is those natural pine boards. So that yeah. that's a nice one. If you want to start out chalk painting and you want to do the wash technique, those I love pe paint wash. Those pieces are really nice for it, right? The yeah. natural wood ones you can do. When I started playing with any woods, I would play with the stains. I'd even water them down, but I have so much more flexibility. If you pick a chalk paint color you like, like a um, like a taupe or a white or say a, a really dark gray, neutralize it with water at least 50-50. You could even make it more transparent and then play with that wash because it doesn't absorb hardcore into your wood. So if for any reason you don't like it, it's easy to come off. Whereas the stain I find just goes right into the pores of the wood. And then it becomes, you have to resand it in order to start over again. Whereas when I use chalk paint washes, I don't really run into that problem. But the biggest comments that we're seeing that people like is the how we explain things, how you, you know, and that's kind of what you always But I get talk. so many comments that I'm putting people to sleep. Because <laughs> you're I don't want to put you to sleep. I'm like, maybe I should be more peppy or talk louder or something. No, I think it's, <laughs> you know, and that's something that we try to do is to make sure that, you know, everything we do, that you guys have kind of the full information on how to do the projects. There's no... What's the point of we showing it? We can't well, that's do where it. I thought the membership group might be helpful too. So when people are currently in projects and they want to jump in and they, I can spend a little bit more one-on-one -on -one time again, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to come up with some other ideas and it would just be helpful 
to hear the feedback. But we're continuing on to do all that stuff. That, like that's none of this that I mentioned there. changes Saturdays. A Saturday content always going to be Saturday. I love knowing when my video is coming up, same times every single week. It means it's 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 fun. I love doing it. I absolutely love doing it. You know, it's funny, uh, Natasha said, is there any decor, decor trends that are you're not a fan of or you're tired of seeing or any trends that, you're, that you see coming back? Um, that's know. a good question. Uh, I mean, everything seems to come back in the style. <laughs> it seems like You know it. what? I'm not one to hate things. I think when people are looking for an individuality or a certain style, I'm kind of envious of that. Regardless if I would choose it for my home, I, 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 I like to encourage people, you know, regardless if I would buy something that they like it. But one thing I know that I want to challenge myself with is geometrics. It's very popular. Yeah. But sometimes you're like, okay, well, if I have softer things going on in my home decor and then I have this kind of pop geometric geometric, geometric design, designs, yeah. whether it's an art piece or a piece of furniture or even a fabric, like how does that get incorporated? One of the trends we did notice that's coming in is that natural look. I yeah. think it's, it seems to be a trend that's coming through right now. Um, I'm seeing it a lot with kitchens and baths. Though. Yeah. It's more Going back to whites and very, very neutral. Um, one almost like a spa like look i think that's what people are looking at they, they, they want this like you know when you go into a spa and it has that feeling of relaxation and it's just everything's neutral and calm the great thing the one great thing that i we've been seeing is a lot of people have been trying some of the projects and they're they're sharing their success oh my god they're so amazing that's one thing that's really cool. And what's really nice is hearing that you guys are doing them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, I, I just, like, I, you know, when, I think it was a couple weekends ago we were seeing comments that someone said, I'm actually going to the store right now to go and buy the product, the stuff from the dollar store or whatever and making the craft. I was like, fantastic. But I get like that too. Yeah. If I see something like and amazing. I want to do it, I'm yeah. like, I'm going, I got to get this. I want to do it now. And I just get fixated that and that's what I'm working on. So that's fantastic. I love seeing your projects. By all means, please email us. You can um, Instagram message me on um, uh, oh, Nelly. What? Yeah, she said her, her her my decor is uh, really switched to boho. I <laughs> love boho, and I've I've learned macrame, and which is something I've always wanted to learn. I do. I yeah, like mac more with macrame. Yeah, that seems to be fun. It is fun. I apologize. We can't edit our fuzzy dogs upstairs i think I, I think everybody's getting up walking in the morning now yeah, so it, yeah the sun's coming out they're so like hello we're coming out so i apologize if you're hearing the dogs oh that's cool what if you showcase people's uh, diys on your weekday we that's, would love that's a, to. that would be oh, we great could. you know yeah. what i don't want a tangent again <laughs> We tried doing that, but I think where I, I was getting kind of paranoid in the sense that some people are very private, so I don't want to showcase something unless they know about it and they're okay with it, but it's hard to get in touch with people and then wait for their reply back and then try to filter in, but I'll, I will figure out some kind of rhythm, but I would love to showcase what you guys are doing because how many times have we seen something some crazy amazing and things. what's mind blowing is their work was way better than my video <laughs> demonstration. <laughs> so if I think if that can help influence other people in our subscribers in this, this uh, channel community to see how other people are putting that creative energy into certain projects and project ideas. Plus I think furniture, um, when you see a piece of furniture that you know you have something that looks almost the same, that's really helpful to see what other people have done to that piece of furniture. Maria's got a really good question. She said, I always find myself always drawn to the same colors. How do I get away from that? Is there a trick? It may sound silly, but it's something no. I struggle with. No, it's, it's not. not. It's not. <laughs> and you do that. Oh, you fight that sometimes. Yes. I yes. think what I've seen you do is there will be a color that you like and you use. You'll throw it down, but then you will experiment by adding in. I love some, Florence. Yeah. It's and my she, you'll, love. You'll, you'll add in a different color. Florence so, is like a, a green. It's like a, how would you describe Florence? I Yeah, that, it's pretty much. It's, a, it's like a kind of a, like a, a teal. 
color, right? Like a blue green color, Florence. Well, I think more greeny than you can play with it so yeah. much. But anyway, that, it's but part that's of the, the Annie Sloan chocolate uh, collection. But anyway, I think just putting in you do small spurts, so like something that's a new color, but you're comfortable with the mat, the, the the majority color. You know what my challenge blender. is? You know what my challenge is? You know, you, painting a room, okay, or doing something big as part of your decor, right? These things cost time and expense, right? So it's like, well, I really want to try something in the blues or the greens, but what happens if I change my mind too soon? And I want to, you know, or I get something and it doesn't even go, it doesn't even, you know, it doesn't, it's not cohesive at all. And now I got to go and change that again. So I think our safety boundaries, especially when it comes to decor is thinking, well, what in our neutral palette can I put on? And this is, it's almost like outfits. It's like right now I'm wearing white. Now I want to put on something colorful or do something colorful to add to it, right? So anyway, going to the question though, I think how can we step out of our boxes and feel comfortable to play with some some pops? Small, small doses. Yeah, but you can still have that boho feeling going. There's two good questions. They're sort of similar, but we'll start with one. Um, hang on, it was, uh, I just saw it. Um, Hang on, they come up so fast. That's okay. Okay, one question. Oh, Furniture Duchess wanted to know, how's your deck uh, stencil holding out? I'm wanting to do more <laughs> outside spaces. So the It's been a show feature while <laughs> it's our house. house went up on the market because if everybody's asked about that, it's, it's actually stood the test. It's, it's I surprised it shows. Um, and then the other question was from uh, John. I don't know uh, if you see my question. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, what do you suggest for marble floors? I'd like to result. I like a result with stencil. That's a good question. With marble. We did our floor. fireplace. Our fireplace Place upstairs is, is, marble? is marble. It's marble, right? It's, yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a, that's right. You're right. It I was forgot. like um. It's pink. Our fireplace was pink. Yes. And again, it back when that fireplace was designed and the the trends that were going on then it I see why it was it was picked and it's a beautiful marble there's nothing wrong with it but I ended up painting it I even did I even did a crackle on that yes and I think the question for the marble floors I would probably if you want to try it I would see do a small corner and see how it holds out is doing with the primer yeah uh, as a starter, because because remember the marble is very smooth, so you need something to bite onto it. So the primer would probably be best to start with. Yeah, and then your paint, your chalk paint. Is it an old marble? Like, is it something that I, you don't yeah. want to salvage? Yeah, and that's a good question too. If you just want to try that out, it's a good one to do. Yeah, and then stencil on top, and then obviously a top coat. So like, if it's a floor, your poly coats and things like that. Like the 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 products we like are the that Minwax. Mm -hmm. Yeah. More stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what was the other question? I just saw it. Oh, someone's the uh, Lynn. She loved the she loved loves Florence and the decoupage it's sideboard. A, Remember that it's one a you did? Passion. I love Florence. Yeah, Florence. Same with the um, uh, sewing machine. I did a sewing machine. You know those old Singer machines? Yes. I did uh, Florence with a little bit of the graphite. I hope he doesn't want something. I'm not sure. I will check and see. If you want to just want to? I'll take a quick look. Yeah. One of our puppies gets a little demanding, so yeah, if you minutes. don't run when he barks, two minutes left. he won't stop. So because it's so early, it's kind of you know in their routine. But no, I, I absolutely love Florence. I wish I would play with it more on my videos. Um, a couple of other things, and again, just because we really want to share the news is the the whole concept of selling and buying again it's so stressful it's there's just so much it's occupied so much of my time that it's been hard to be regulated with our videos these last couple of weeks and i do apologize we're getting right back onto track with that but i just feel it's really important to share anything and everything that is going on um, as far as any changes that are going on. So I'm really excited to do a little filming this weekend about where it is we're looking to buy into. So you can see the beauty of why we want to look into this area. And it's just, we, we kind of wish we had moved there a few years back, but I think that we have 
the fact that we had come here was a blessing in disguise too. So I'm super excited about what we're gonna be showing you. And what I'm super excited to is we actually got one of these tools. Um, you may or may not have heard about it, but I'm gonna explain a little bit more. Is, have anybody heard about the cricket before? Yes, the cricket. Oh, oh yeah, yes. So that's something we want to try. Yes. And the cricket is like this endless thing of all kinds of fun DIYs that we can make. So I think we're going to do a couple of really small, easygoing stuff um, that's, you know, really fun. And your feedback is so helpful to us right now. So thank you for answering some of these questions. Oh, you use it, Carolyn. Awesome. Thank you. That, you know, we want to try that. And Nelly, thank you so much. Um, oh. We'll definitely try the, the cricket. We're going to get some project ideas in the next couple of weeks. We'll be doing that, yeah. One, right? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, going back to, I guess, 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago, do you guys want to do more of the fabric stuff? Not just upholstery fabrics, but like more variety of fabrics with chalk paints, I think is another. Because I have gotten a lot of comments and I feel like I'm not responding fast enough. With the Cricut, we're new to it. So whatever you guys, you guys have, we just got, I think it's it's the Cricut. Maker. Uh, not the Maker, the Airplay, Air, the Air 2, I think it is, the middle one. Right. So um, what we'll do is we'll probably put a couple of posts out there in the next couple of weeks and then seeing if you guys have any ideas or any kind of suggestions that you tried it worked i wanted let to do know. throw pillows with yeah them. let us know things that you like doing and we can probably share that with everybody else on the next couple of craft projects i am getting game. i am trying to read as they're coming through. yeah there's I, fabrics okay fabrics i think our big paint. thing is I, i'm sorry yeah i think our big thing is a lot of people are looking for more accessories okay so we'll like do diy accessories okay, perfect whether it's recycled or something that we build you know um a lot of projects. things is, is, is simplified. Like it's not, yeah. um, expense is always a big one. Like nobody wants to spend a lot of money on green eyes, lady lampshades. That's actually funny. Cause we were, we were talking about that to try to make we those. We argue about lampshades. We always want to try to make those. So. He likes these big, big ones. And I'm like, no, I don't want these big, big <laughs> yeah. ones. Like, it's more to dust. I want something more, but yes, lampshades would be fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Repurposing fabrics is a good one. So, I think so too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like the finger, uh, Nally loves the finger crochet. Oh, I already have it. I have it all written out. One thing I'm really gravitated to and I absolutely love is like these wall baskets. Have you guys seen how expensive these are? So I came up with, I already did one, which was kind of a bowl, like a jute bowl and how to add some colors with the um, embroidery threads. That's in one of our videos. But what I thought is how can we make some really cool, Cool, kind of like that Moroccan style with it's very boho um, wall baskets instead of buying them let's make them but we want to make it so you know you have a few that are different but they coincide like they're cohesive together and one thing I know everyone's always saying about furniture finishing Christine is not stopping to do furniture oh, God, no. yeah it's just we're just mixing it and one of the challenges we had to was getting pieces so that's why we did some of the well, more the home decor. Really yeah, slowed the pandemic us. slowed us down to fine furniture pieces. So. As you guys know, and again, just filling in some that don't, yeah. is because of where we live, we're on a peninsula. We're not on an island. So we are part of our province. But in order to access where we live, we have to take a ferry. There's no roads for where we yeah. are. So ferries are considered a luxury. It's not a necessity for that. well well it is in one way uh, anyway it's 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 in perceptions we too. struggle with it <laughs> we struggle with it is really what we're saying since the pandemic they've done a lot of ferry restrictions so it's only mandatory it's like people who have you know distinct appointments you know hospitals and all things that like that so our freedom of kind of coming and going came to a big halt when the pandemic started so that's one of the reasons it's like well i can't produce a video every single week when i don't have the availability of doing the routine I was. So that's why I tried to incorporate other fun DIY things that I, I like doing. And I feel like it's, it's really helped our channel to broaden a little, but no, I, I absolutely love doing furniture. And just like somebody had mentioned, like, 
like how can we bring old furniture back to its raw look right yeah. like what other concepts like people are are using the bleach now and like what other things can we do with it to to give that well you, and, and i know you've been doing that a lot with that with the um the washes and things like mm -hmm. that and bringing back the natural colors back into it sort of the, that boho kind of feel to it yeah the so. other thing is as i've gotten so many stenciling questions yes too, so that's another one Again, that's why I thought, it, you know, and I was really excited to share it with you live is that we are going to be having DIY Wednesday. So again, the more comments that we can filter through on this live really helps us decide, like, do we make a longer video, a shorter video? You know, do we open up a membership group? Because I am going to be focusing 100 percent my time with this channel i am having so much fun i'm meeting so many wonderful youtubers yeah too. it's just been amazing and that's what we want to thank you guys all for the comments and the encouragement um it's been so much fun you yes. know like we're just continuing on and just growing and the channel is about you and it's about how you guys what you guys want to see and, and the feedback that we're getting is amazing and you know we're going to come up with the you know the creative ideas and stuff like that but it's just because you got it feeds we feed off of you guys yeah on your inspiration so it's really nice um we're at the top of the hour now um did you want to do a couple so of we questions? have to grab a ferry <laughs> <laughs> which we had to reserve how much did that cost yeah don't worry about that but we're actually going to be going across a large body of water, so we're hoping that we can see some orcas. So if we kind of catch anything, we're going to film, <laughs> we'll it. film it for you guys. But what we want to show you is why we want to make this transitional move. And again, we're going to share all the details, anything that's going on, if anything gets delayed. But most of all, I just need to be DIYing. My stress level's up here. I just need to DIY something. Yeah. <laughs> I just want to paint something. I just... I don't want to think about homes anymore. Everything is in its place where it needs to be right now. So I just want to get back onto my videos. And it's just nice to see people saying comments like they're, you know, influence and inspiration. But you guys are inspi inspiring us to, to just come oh up God. with new more ideas. So I'm, we're just happy that you're taking whatever we that you make and whatever that you can convert it into your own idea. Another quick yeah. question I had for subscribers too yeah. is um, you get very limited. No, I shouldn't say but I feel like I need to show more of what goes wrong on my end and how I <laughs> get out of that because that's that's the thing with DIY it's DIY so if you're running into something that is you need to troubleshoot with mm. and that's why I thought memberships or if we had the other video a week like are you guys okay if, if that extra video a week outside of our Saturday videos was maybe kind of filtering in those kind of series, like mistakes that happen. How do we, how do oh, we get out of them, this? Yeah. How do we fix this? You know, cause painting's a big one. Like people run into all kinds of, you know, and it's nice to know where you can go so you can troubleshoot, you know, or yeah. get those answers for. So no, we'll definitely do these ideas yeah. and come back. Oh, hi, Cha. How are you doing? South Africa. No, no. <laughs> A familiar Cindy, face. Natasha, Carla, you guys are amazing. Yes. Thank you so much. Your support is 100, the root behind what drives the channel. Mistakes. This, yeah, Diane says mistakes. So, yeah, no, that's definitely something. DIY fails. In a couple. Of DIY fails. Let's make a series on DIY <laughs> fails. God knows I, I can make a good series on DIY fails. But you know what? Sometimes it, it fails are always what comes out you know, you kind of find out how to do something yeah. outside of it. So yeah. sometimes you think you're going to nail it and it just backfires and you're like, Oh my God, where did I go wrong? So CPR, you're, you've been an encouragement to us. You know how many times I've, we've read your comments and it just inspires oh, us. So thank you so much. Thank you. Deborah. we know that area and <laughs> hopefully we'll drive past you. There's Diana. Oh, you guys are so amazing. Oh man. So much. Oh, so yes, again, leave in comments. If you want us to do lives, what I'm thinking is, is we keep it separate, like not, not part of our Saturday. This was kind of an exception because we've never done a live. We just, you just have to throw yourself in. We'll try them out and maybe like if you want question and answer lives, like once, a, you know, yeah. we can do those for the- But separate from the Saturday yeah. stuff, but yeah. if, if there's a way that I can put the announcement that to jump on, do some lives, because I would, this is- Fantastic. I love corresponding with one-on-one. -on -one.
because this way, you know, I can sit down, I can read them, I can answer any questions. And especially if we start to tune into very specific DIY series or projects, just to jump on and do some lives. It's going to be so awesome having extra time. Yeah, no, for introductions makes sense. Separate the live sessions would yeah. be great. Yeah, we're thinking the same thing too. Like just, we put them out like, yeah. okay, you know, Tuesdays, you know, and again, if you can't be part of the live, you can skim through them, see if any of, you know, your current projects, maybe we can help answer them. I think we can do that because then what we can do is we can let you guys know in advance and then just send us um, comments of yeah. questions and then we'll have a list and we can answer them on that live session for you guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know it's kind of hard to just kind of come up off the fly some of the questions. Like I know that sometimes there's a lot of questions on about waxing, when to start, when when to put it on, or waxing and top coats, or even put paint poles, things like that. So yeah. we'll and it's not just the painting, it's all the DIY stuff, right? Yeah. So if we are getting into more craft style stuff, um, again, the other big question I had, and I just, I don't want to sound repetitive to you, is, do you feel it would be beneficial to have that additional video? Do you want the videos to be more steer pointed and a little bit slower and direct, right? Um, or, you know, because I find if you have a little bit of kind of a surf and turf to the channel, everybody can benefit, right? So if we have our regular Saturdays, just as we're doing, and then we kind of have things that are a little bit more pinpointed, yeah. you know, so just kind of maybe sticking to the, I call, this is, I just came came up with a sporadic name of called the DIY Wednesday, just as a, a one DIY. Deborah loves the total room space DIYs. The recent yeah. kitchen bathroom overhauls were fun and, and terrific and inspiring. Thank you. Yeah. Those were fun. Those actually those were I'm really trying fun. to convince them how awesome living in a home that's over a hundred years old is gonna be so much fun <laughs> to DIY. And he's he's like, Well, let's look at home insurance situations first. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, fair enough. So that's actually why we're going to Victoria today. Um, we're actually going to spend the night. Um, we're obviously going to be doing everything based on regulations and safety and stuff. Um, we're not visiting anybody or seeing anybody. We're going to basically be on the car, Mask up. car on car most of the time. Oh, Green Eyed Love, the Verdi Green. That is one of the fun projects. You yes. Did. Do you know that that project got sold and is now in a, a really cool, uh, it's like a, a women's accessory yeah, store. Yeah. And I have to actually go in there and film that piece in the store. It just fits it so perfectly. That was a hard piece to sell. Mm -hmm. We love that piece. That was a but, tear yeah. jerker to watch. But the very, away. the very degree, we'd love to try that one again. Yes. So, yeah. What about, um, the other quick thing that I mentioned, I have a list and I haven't even gone through my whole list because I'm, I'm overzealous and excited because it's my first live is outdoor kind of like your outdoor, say you have decks, patios, you know, outdoor spaces. Is that something else that would be fun? Because there's so many DIY things you can do with that. Mm -hmm. Not just flower pots, but like how everything, making it more zenny, making it more like a place you want to be at. And what can we do to enjoy that space even outside of just the really warm days and nights and yes. things like that. We can try some of those ideas because we were talking talk with that. That's why the stencil on the floor outdoor, that one seems yes. to gravitate. We yeah. thought it would be fun. We should leave that link so they can kind of see yeah. what we're talking see about. about that one. Some people haven't seen it. Yeah. And I think the, and excuse me, I'm trying to read everybody as we're coming through. I think we need to do more like tiles. Like I think a lot of people have good tiles in their home, bathrooms, kitchens, laundry rooms. And it's like, I don't really want to go and stab all this stuff, make a huge mess, try and learn how to tile or pay for all of this when there's nothing wrong. With I the see people who's just saying, I just saw this. It's love your makeover DIYs of the thrifted items. Thank you. No, sorry, we're not ignoring. It's so hard to see the comments just flying through. So we'll read yep. them all. We're seeing. I've seen you. So, but anyway, I just think tiles is another big one that I think people would like some ideas with. Yeah, the tiles. I mean, you did that floor, the bathroom, uh, the stenciling on the tiles. Yeah, that one. Well, the problem is, is some people have the slick style. Yeah. Whereas when we've done tiles, our tiles have a texture in it. So yeah. how the paint works in steps that you it. can go with, with working with tiles and paints. So uh, someone said, I love your Saturday comment. Feel free to mix in different format on Saturday every so often. We will. That would be great. 
Awesome. Somebody's, yeah, somebody just said doors. Oh, doors. I, heard, I saw hickory doors. Um, doors are a big one. Like doors are big with yeah. people's homes. Like what can you do with them? Yeah. Or if you have natural wood doors by bringing them to their natural wood. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good one. We're going to be writing so much stuff on the ferry today. <laughs> CPR bathroom tile, non-toxic, yes. And yes. Yeah. Trying yeah. to avoid the toxicities that come yeah. in. Absolutely, guys. This so. is so fantastic. I saw entryway. Entryway. Green eye lady. I like that idea. Remember how I'm always saying I love oh, this, but yeah. how to change Yes, yeah, yeah. Like the, the foyer. Yes. yes. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Okay. You guys are fantastic. Okay, our Mr. Little Boy is barking yeah, on us. I know. Did, um, I think that was it. Did you want to um, want to wrap it up and then go? Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. And like we said, we're definitely going to be corresponding with more lives. We're just looking forward to sticking with our Saturdays and having your feedback today is huge. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. And I'm looking forward to sharing some fun upcoming details this week on what we're going to have for next Saturday, plus what we're going to film for this weekend as we take our trip over to Victoria and some of the things we've been looking at in the current house that we're looking at. And we're going to fill you in on all the details absolutely and i can't thank you enough for joining me and if you couldn't make it because you've got busy lives i totally get it have a skim this weekend if you catch us we're going to post this live in our in our videos and we yeah so again the more information you want to add what you'd like to see in some of this content and most of all i'm just the big big news outside of the home is the fact that i'm going to be doing the uh, YouTube full time, full yeah. time. I just, I'm so excited that I can do the two videos and how I can correspond so we can, you know, communicate a lot easier. So your comments mean a lot to us. Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much. And I see all the comments and I'll follow up with some of them. Um, last one, I think, uh, I think it was Diane asked about the, <laughs> the wall, uh, the, the wallpaper on top above the fireplace. That one, that one, it's in our Amazon store. You can see it listed. I have that one there listed. And I see a lot of people are saying about the Cricut Maker. That, I'm a big fan of that one. That's one I wanted to get. Oh, I can't wait to start that. But we have the Cricut Air too. But definitely, if we get into more involved with this, we'll definitely upgrade to the Maker. <laughs> <laughs> but thanks, everyone, again. Yes. And uh, we will sign off from here now. And I'll post this video so it will be in the channel that you guys, if you want to look over for some questions that you saw that you wanted to be kind of re review, it's going to be there. Absolutely. And we've got so much coming. And again, it's just great that we can correspond with you. Keep everybody on the same page. We're going to feed you all the details and we've got so much fun things coming and we can't wait to share it with you. Awesome. Excellent. Guys. See you guys. Take care. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye. We're going to share what happens. <laughs> Take care. We go and...